Beautiful Places with Neil Humphreys on Weekend Mornings with Glenn Van Zutphen on Money FM 89.3. All right, beautiful place today. Where are we going, Mr. Humphreys? We are going to the beautiful, majestic Changi Bay Point. Even our wonderful stinger had that calming, breezy mm. sea waves gushing. That is Changi Bay Point. The TikTokers, the Instagrammers, have already discovered it. The young people are heading out it's there. It's been found. It's been found because they're calling it the, apologies for mispronunciation, the Jeju Island, the Jeju Island in Korea. Jeju, yeah. Yeah, Jeju Island. Go on there and see it. Just Google Jeju Island. You'll see it. There are certain points at Changi Bay Point. You can't see any ships. You can't see any tankers because it's at a different angle. Oh. So there's no ships queuing up. Right, right. The rather that alone is worth the right the price of admission, right? The, <laughs> let's be frank, closer to where I live, the rather unsightly sand silos that are kept offshore mm. off of Pongal and the refinery works off of Pongal, you can't see them. So for the most part, you are looking at a beautiful clear blue vista. Nice. Just see. Except you see a little bit of Tekong, Pulau Tekong, which is fine because it's just green terrain. And then to the right, you see some of the mountainous elements of what I assume is Johor, but it's definitely Malaysia. So all you can see on this panoramic, panoramic vista in this bay, don't forget Singapore doesn't have bays, but you're standing in this bay. Yeah. Clear sky. Sometimes you see our friend Rohid's regattas. <laughs> the Malaysian hills on your right and center, a little bit of Tekong Island, a few guys fishing on their little sampans. It's as close as you're going to get on the mainland to stepping back in time. It is the closest it's going to get. And nice. and this sounds contradictory because I'm inviting everyone to go out there. There's hardly anybody there. The odd cyclist. Not for long. Not for long. <laughs> but and I put no, we have to be, we have to be, you know, user friendly and people friendly. If you are driving. You can park at Changi Beach Park. This is what I did with the girls. Car Park 6, or I believe. It's, it's the something. last one. Car Park uh, 7. 7. It's 7. Car Park 7. Yeah. Depending how adventurous you are, obviously they're in order. So the 7th is the very last one. So you park at Car Park 7 of Changi Beach Park, and then you walk about one and a half kilometers-ish. It's a round trip. But, well, the, the Changi bay connector is 3.6 kilometers mm. long mm. so you do about a 5k 5 to 6k round trip if you're driving to the car park it's beautiful if you're brave enough to cycle i cycle from my home from the east coast it's a beautiful cycle in the opposite direction i'm coming down from lorong halus and i go through Pasaris. it's a beautiful uh cycle it's 3.6 kilometers it's nothing but sea They've built two sustainable foot and cycling bridges that cross water points. It's all sustainable. The wonderful migrant workers who we cannot overlook mm -hmm. are busy working there day and I assume night, putting in the native shrubbery and the native, you know, flora. It's great. I saw a monitor lizard, a nice. meter and a half long, swimming in the sea, nice. which you don't often see. Yeah. It's quiet. It's peaceful. It's tranquil. Credit to end parks. They don't often do this across Singapore enough, I would say. Benches everywhere oh. at, at key lookout That's points. Yeah. What the what would it be? Would it be the sunset, the sunrise? Either way, it must sunrise. It, I think I think there. it is. Yeah, it is sunrise. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. The sunrises that I have seen on TikTok and on Instagram already at Changi Bay Point look spectacular. Mm. Get out there, have a look, and you can disappear to Jeju Island. For a couple of hours. I the can't J say fairer the, than that. The Jeju Island of Singapore. I, I sent the photos to my mother and she honestly thought we were in Malaysia. Huh. I mean, it is that much of an escape. Um, yeah. Now, right there at the point, how, how close is that to Changi uh, Beach Park? As I said, is it, it right, it's it, right it's, there. You park at park, Car Park 7. And it starts next door. It just starts right you next door. You literally cross so you can the go road. To the beach and you can go to the yeah. point. You can do it all on the same easily in the same thing that's what i was going to say i forgot to add that part we we went for it this week my friend so we went on i'm going to say the chinese new year eve that was sunday wasn't it yeah yes so we went on sunday did the walk came back 
and we haven't done this in years, we got out the tent. Oh. We got out the tent. Nice. My friend that we keep in the boots, we've had it since Australia. Yeah. We found a quiet spot. When I say quiet, deserted spot. We plonked it just right at the edge of the fringe of the forest and the beach, and we had a blast. We had a picnic there. Nice. Uh, I'll send you the pictures later. Me yeah. and my daughter, we were f throwing frisbees, playing catch. Glenn, there was nobody, I mean nobody, within 200 meters in any direction of us, wow. except the occasional cyclist passing through once every five minutes. However, <laughs> however, a little later, a young couple, shall we say, set up, and I say young, they were probably in their early 20s, they set up a tent a little bit further down the beach. And then I realized they can't wait for us to leave. <laughs> <laughs> so, privacy, privacy is a premium yeah, in Singapore. Bless course. their cotton socks. Yeah, so they were having a good time and there were couples there and there was a few fishermen hanging out. Honestly, I can't stress it enough. It's a step back in time. And if you want a little bit of peace and quiet and tranquility, Changi Bay Point is the place to go. Beautiful Places with Neil Humphreys on Weekend Mornings with Glenn Van Zutphen on Money FM 89.3.